All right, what's up guys, Azura here, and today I have for you another deck profile from Fighters Collection. This time we're going over a clan that I've actually never gone over on this channel before, we're going for Mega Colony. More specifically, Machinings, so Machinings did get a stride from the Fighters Collection, the Machining Destroyer, which is a pretty nice stride overall. So uh, we'll go over all the cards as per usual, I actually don't know this clan very well, I've barely played this deck, but I do know this deck is pretty good and I've tried it a bit myself. Not extensive testing or anything, but I've played it enough to know that this deck is very playable, so... Uh, without further ado, we'll go over the list. First off, the starter is the Machining Little B. Its skill is, put this unit into your soul, choose on your, choose on your other rested Machining Rears, stand it, give it draw a card, give it 3k, and then in drop zone Soul Blast 2 to put itself in, back into soul. So, uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of your cards call the cards out as rest, from your soul out as rest, so you Use the starter to stand them and draw a card, and then if this thing ever drops even soul last two, just put it back into soul so you can call it back out later. So, pretty good starter for the deck. Absolutely the best choice you have for a starter. So, it's that bit starter you choose to play. On where's the great one? We have Stride Fodder. Uh, every clan got these from Fighters Collection, so we play it because we do want a stride, and you don't exactly have other good great ones to play anyway. So, uh, four Stride Fodder, four uh, Counter Charge PGs. Again, no reason not to play them. Uh, Mega Colony actually only has uh, PG uh, Type 1 PGs, like the ones that proc. Uh, eat, you eat a crit and you're at 3, so you only have those ones. So, this is actually your only Type 2 type two PGs available, and just have some counter charge PGs, so there's no reason not to play it. So, for that, next up we have 4 Machining Hornets. Uh, Vanguard Rear on 1 place. If you have Machining in your soul, gets plus 3k. So, the reason I choose to play this over the 10k attacker is because. Um, when you call it, uh, this thing can also be a 10k booster, so you can scale like 22 if you need to, or 21 if you need to. So that's why I just play it over just the uh, vanilla, like the 10k attacker. And uh, speaking of 10k attackers, he's the one of uh, front row rear guard circle if you're rearguard machining plus 3k. So everything in this deck is a machining, aside from the heal guards and the stride water and the PG. So 10k attacker, just a fellow one of them, pretty nice to have. Not terrible, not amazing. Now that's it for grade ones. Onward to grade twos. First off, we have the Machining Mosquito Mark II. Its skill is, during your turn, if your Vanguard is a Machining, which will always be the case, uh, and all your opponent's rear guards are rested, he gets plus 2k and he gets the following skill. Once per turn, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, stay in one of your other rear guards, stay in one of your other rear guards, and paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards. So, um, this card lets you paralyze back extra additional back row if you need to. But more importantly, this card is like your only actual way to push more than one damage a turn past double intercept. So uh, that's why the, having the tank hit booster from the Hornet is nice for the scaling. So pretty okay card. Uh, it can also it's also acts as a solo attacker because it swings for um, it swings for a uh, uh, eleven solo. So don't, don't doesn't need doesn't need a booster against uh, Dragoglass eleven K. So pretty nice card and definitely no reason to play less than four this card in this deck. Next up, we're playing two of the 12k attackers. Uh, I would play more, but I only have three. And I was like, oh, I'll just play two. Uh, uh, the realistic speed should probably be four of this card. Uh, there's this, and this card essentially do the same thing. So, uh, this card is a on place if you're vanguards. If you have a machining in your soul, uh, I guess plus three k at the end of turn. Uh, this thing works on vanguard too, so I guess there's that if you want to push damage early. But realistic speaking, just play four of this card. I only have three of it. I'm like, oh, I'll just put in two and just have it like this. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but realistically, just. Five solo attackers, and finally we're playing four of the Machining Papaleo on place Paralyze a rear. Pretty nice, just gets paralyzed something for free. It keeps base kind of sucks, but it's whatever. So yeah, uh, so it's like four, uh, four multi, four multi attackers. I also scales five solo shitters, and then uh, four things that paralyze. And finally, that's it for grade twos. Finally, the grade threes. As you can see, I don't know this clan very. Uh, I don't know this clan as well, but I do know these are your best choices to play in this deck. Because uh, having these uh, having these uh, scaling grade twos uh, to scale with the uh, mosquito mark two to get the multi attacks off does actually matter. So yeah. And finally, the grade threes. We are playing first off. We're playing the war sickle. Its skill is uh, limb break four. Zuna attacks the vanguard CB two to paralyze your opponent's vanguard, and you and then uh, if they want to rewrite, they have to discard a they have to discard a card if they want to rewrite on the following turn. And its other skill is on place CB one. Call two machines from your soul as rest. And then a Vanguard Rear, if your opponent has a... Uh, uh, this, unit can, this unit can attack, can ignore intercepts when attacking if uh, if all the, if the rear, if their uh, rear guards are paralyzed. 
or rather, uh, this unit can ignore intercepts when attacking par when attacking. Um, uh, this unit can ignore inter intercept of paralyzed rearguards when attacking. So basically, uh, if your opponent's intercepts are uh, are paralyzed, you can ignore them with continuous swing phase. So yeah, very awkward wording, but that's how it works. Basically, if your opponent par has two paralyzed rearguards, you can, this you can swing phase, but only itself. So yeah. Uh, you, you play it for, mainly for the call skill, because you're already striding instead of using this, but sometimes you do need to use this limit 4 to stun the Vanguard instead, but... Uh, pretty nice card, it serves double duty, can act as a way to stun the Vanguard, and it calls the cards from Soul, which is pretty nice. And then finally, uh, the other 4 of grade 2 is the Stag Beetle on place. Call 2, uh, machining from your soul is rest, and then uh, this card gets uh, power equal to the sum of the two cards called. So, for example, if you call, like... I don't know, like a, like, like a 7k and a 9k. Wow, big surprise. 7, 9, this thing gets 16. So, uh, pretty nice. And then, uh, and then uh, the reason why this card is good is, is actually for two reasons. I A, its call skill is just nice. Uh, two, uh, uh, if, your point does, if your point low commits, uh, just be able to call two, uh, stand the intercept you called with the, with the uh, with your starter, and then just have this be able to scale is also pretty good. And also, because it's 10k base, it lets us play Medu, and Medu is a pretty good card, so. Uh, it serves a few reasons why this card, why this card is pretty good in this deck, but uh, it, it, it does do what this deck needs to do because uh, your stride does need you to have a f does need basically a full board. So these cards that just call shit out of your soul just to fill flood board up is pretty nice to have. So yeah. And finally, the one of is the Machining Spark Hercules. Uh, if all your opponent's units are rested, CB2 paralyzes your opponent's rear guard, and this unit gets 10k and a crit. So yeah, something that has crit, I guess. And then um, Soul Blast one to call your to rest all of your opponent's rear guards, and then. Um, this unit gets 2k until end of turn, and then call the machine from your soul's rest, so he can also add more stuff to the board, and he also has to intercept, intercept ignore, like the stag, or like the warsicle, so yeah. Uh, just a filler one of this can be anything you want, uh, you can play the legion with the with the mosquito if you want, but I don't even have any copies of that card, so I'm just playing the spark quickly is us the one of in this slot, and then finally we are playing four heal guards. So that's it for the, that's it for the uh, triggers and the main deck, uh, honestly speaking. Not a whole lot changed in this deck. I've I've played no Mega Colony uh, before this, but I do know that the deck looked more or less something like this before, anyways. But the reason why this deck is even remotely playable now is because of the uh, the stride that they got, the Machining Destroyer. Uh, so uh, its skill is once per turn, if your heart is a Machining, CB two to choose on your points regards and paralyze it. Seems pretty bad, right? But there's more to it. Paralyze it. In addition, if you have four or more machining regards, so that's why these cards that flood board from Soul is nice to have, like the Warsicle and the Stag Beetle, because it does the thing does need four or more machining rears to, to work. So, uh, so CB2 paralyze a rear, and in addition, if you have four or more machining rear guards, uh, you and and all of your opponents' rear guards are rest. You can also paralyze their vanguard. So yeah, it's rested. Uh, it doesn't stand during their their stand phase. And uh, so, and uh, the reason why it's good is because when you stride over a rested vanguard, uh, the stride comes in in the same state as what the heart was in. So if your heart was rested and you stride over it, uh, the stride also comes in as rest. So uh, they even if they stride, they can't play, they can't attack with the vanguard. They have to re-ride. So yeah, and and, uh, and because we we're in a stride meta where like every deck is tossing grade threes left and right to stride. They eventually will run out of Ray 3s to re-ride, and even if they do re-ride, they might not have the cost to also stride on top of that on that turn, so this card is just very can be very annoying for your opponent to deal with, and uh, being able to just paralyze Vanguard every turn uh, is very nice. Uh, that being said, I think this card does actually have a lot of counterplay to it, because uh, if your opponent just leaves a singular resist unit in the back row, uh, they and, and they don't send boost with it if it's a booster, uh, this thing will never be able to use its pair Vanguard, Vanguard Pillar skill. So, uh, decks like uh, uh, main, things, that I about, things that I can top, think of off the top of my head immediately is like Bermuda. Bermuda loves playing Resist Intercept, so they can just leave one in the back forever and then you can never paralyze their Vanguard with this skill. And that's where Warsicle's uh, Limerick 4 would come in. Uh, your, other, your other really bad matchup is something like Messiah, because Messiah unlocks all their own cards as stand. As long as they don't boost with those cards or leave something in the back standing, uh, they're, uh, they will have standing cards, so... Uh, although this card is good and it does absolutely 
ruin the lives of some of some decks. Some decks just straight up play around it by existing. It's like Messiah doesn't care about this. Any deck with resist doesn't care about this. So uh, you have to be wary of that. Next up, we're playing two of the Double Rush Stride. I don't even know what this thing's name is. I know it's not a machining. I also know it's really bad because this thing's skill is uh, what uh, on hit paralyze one front row, one back row. Your opponent has to be pretty bad the game to get paralyzed by this card. Or at least their front row, at least. So this card basically reads on hit paralyzed back row, which is like okay, I guess. It's not terrible, not amazing. Oh yeah, um, this card can also be played around by your opponent having an empty board because uh, because all, all everything because the paralyzed banker is part of the in addition to skill. If you can't CB two to paralyze one rear first off, you can't you can't apply the rest of the skill. You need to resolve the entire skill. So uh, that's also one way to play around it. A fully empty board is another way to play around this card. So yeah. And then finally, the, fi the, the, the the ninth best fillers in this deck. Honestly speaking, if I had it, I'd play three Medus here instead of the, any of this dude, but I only have one Medu, so. Uh, the Medu, if your Vanguard is uh, uh, on play, if your heart is 10k, has 10K, is 10k base or lower, add a great three premium drops into your hand. And then the Harmonix Messiah to unlock stuff uh, on play, uh, unlock anything, any number of cards, and discard cards equal to the number of cards you unlock, so yeah. Uh, that's it for this deck. Uh, again, this deck is another one of those fun decks. It's like a fun, okay, playable deck. Uh, I don't think it's particularly amazing because I do think the Machine Destroyer has a lot of counterplay to it. Uh, uh, not, not, and of course, not every deck can deal with can deal with this. Some decks do just get eaten alive by this card because this card will just basically say you're not allowed to play the game for multiple turns in a row. So some decks do get eaten alive by this card, but um, there's a lot of counterplay to this card, which which makes me. Uh, look, look lower on this deck as opposed to something else like Metal Borgs, for example, which I think is just a bit, slightly better deck. But hey, this deck is actually pretty good, uh, pretty nice niche. Uh, I absolutely destroyed the Aqua Force if, you're, if you don't want to deal with that deck, so yeah. Uh, so, I'll have some games for you guys after this as per usual. Uh, like, subscribe with the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.